Let's take a look at the Sharp Touch Viewer on the Aquasport Interactive Display System. Here we have the workspace, and on the bottom bar here, we have a group of tools. We're going to begin by creating a new drawer. A drawer points to a folder on your computer or network. Whenever you make changes to a file in a drawer, it's automatically updated in the folder on your computer or network. You may rename files and folders at any time. Up to 20 drawers can be added at one time, and each drawer can contain up to 100 files. Let's see how you can display images as sheets. As you see, I push each image up from the drawer. I can move each one, resize it, rotate it, or even flick it across the workspace. If I want to minimize this image, all I have to do is pinch it with two fingers and it will create an icon on the top left of my screen. Or I can choose to drag it back into my drawer for later. Now let's take a look at a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to make this presentation larger. Next, I'm going to pin it in place. This helps me move the pages along. On the top right, I have several annotation tools. Let's choose a red pen and make some annotations on this slide. Going back to the menu, we have the sheet menu with a variety of options. First, Let's send this screen to Sharp Pen Software. As you see, the slide was sent as an image file to Pen Software. For now, let's return to Sharp Touch Viewer. Let's go back to the Sheet menu. I'm going to tap on Link Application. Touch Viewer allows a link to the original application. In this case, it's Microsoft PowerPoint. Now I can edit the original presentation directly in PowerPoint. Any changes I make here will be reflected in Sharp Touch Viewer. Now let's go back to our workspace and move the presentation aside. I'm going to open a few other files. Here is a menu and a design for my restaurant. Let's say I want to save this layout for my presentation later this afternoon. I can tap the Home button and choose Save Layout. This function saves all my icons and sheets the way they appear on the screen right now. Now, if I click on the layout drawer, I can see my saved file right here. So if I go back to my menu and clear the work area, I can open the layout drawer and retrieve my saved layout anytime. All I have to do is drag it back into my workspace. 
You can save many layouts in the layout drawer for future use. Now let's clear the work area again and go back to our drawer. Here I have a PDF. I'm going to make it larger by pinching out and I'll anchor it to the workspace with the push pin icon. I can flip through my PDF. Next, I'm going to choose a blue annotation tool and make some marks on this page. Let's say I want to close this PDF now. I can do that in the Sheet menu. If I retrieve the file from my drawer, and flip back to my page, I notice the annotations are still there. Another useful tool is the Show List tool. Here I can see all the pages in this PDF. PDFs in Touch Viewer can display up to 200 pages. And if I tap on one of the pages, that page will automatically open. Now let's close this sheet and open a video from our drawer. While this video is playing, I can annotate on it. Let's say I want to capture a specific moment. I can pause the video, add annotations, and then choose the capture function from the sheet menu. This function takes a still image of my video and saves it in my drawer. I can drag this image up and place it side by side next to my video. Notice the salad served at the restaurant. Another useful tool is the Web Sheet feature. By going to Home and tapping Web Sheet, you can open any website as a sheet and navigate as you would in a browser. If you close the Web Sheet, it will be automatically saved in your temporary drawer. The temporary drawer is full of content that doesn't already exist in a designated folder. If I go back to home, I can also tap on Add Sheet. This function allows me to add a supported file without having to add an entirely new drawer. As you see, the image automatically appears in my temporary drawer. I can choose to leave it or delete it at any time. Now let's take a look at the note sheet feature. It offers note sheets in different sizes. Let's choose this one. Here I can take notes on my own separate sheet. I can annotate as with other sheets. And once I'm finished, I can close it. It will automatically save to my temporary folder until I delete it.
Now let's take a look at the sorting tools in Sharp Touch Viewer. On the top of each sheet, I can select tabs in different colors. Let's choose a few. Okay, I have two green and one orange. If I go to sort, I can choose which sheets to sort based on color and type. First, let's choose the green sheet. Both the green sheets are displayed. Now let's choose the orange sheet. The orange sheet is front and center. Last but not least, let's choose all image sheets. All images are displayed. This is an excellent way to prepare your presentation ahead of time and work with different types of files at the same time. On the very end here, on the bottom right, we have these last two icons where you can choose to minimize or exit your screen. See how Touch Viewer can work in your environment today.